Now here's how I'm going to make uh, basically muscles and post red snapper. I, I like these grouper as well, but this is what we're doing. I take the muscles and I wash them really well. I let them soak in uh, this pot, uh, filled with water for about 10 minutes. Because the summer open, the water, I guess, the cool system is thinking it's the ocean, they close back up, they're still alive. I rinse them, I wash them, and then here's how we make the sauce. Uh, Behringer Chardonnay, it's about 10 bucks. I take a squirt of this bottle, which I'll show you in a second. Salt and pepper. I use some uh, chopped garlic. Uh, it could be uh, an emperor's kitchen, could be anything. And then I add uh, olive oil. And um, I put that in there. And then we're going to add mustard. Okay, so I've added the salt, the pepper, the garlic. The garlic, I'd say about one tablespoon, maybe two. I add two. I like the garlic. The pepper and the salt, I do. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do 30 of these. Now they're 40. And I just do a dash of salt. Now there's two dashes in there. It's fine, but I don't make a lot of salt. And it's mussels, mussels, so they have salt as well. I'm going to now add the mussels. So, I take the mussels, and gently put them in there. I don't want the cracking, cracking or breaking. Oh, it's hot. Woo! And, uh, just put them in there. I tried to arrange it one time, but you know, I just put the suckers in there. And, uh, they're getting ready to be made. Also, uh, I'm going to go down uh, there. I'm going to grab a uh, loaf of Italian bread. And I'm going to place them on the top. So now while the bubble is being made, at a height, I just keep them in there for, I'd say, 7 to 10 minutes. Uh, also, I forgot to uh, mention that I add about 2 tablespoons to 3 tablespoons of olive oil in there as well. I have a good bowl waiting for all the muscles to go into. Now, let's talk about the sauce. I'm going to add this bruschetta, which is, uh, it's basically going to be uh, fresh tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, spices, and salt. Now I add those, these two, into this pot with a little bit more garlic, because we like the garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper, and I heat that up. That's like a side gig, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to pour this sauce over the steamed mussels and their juice that they're, they're sautéed in, or they're steamed in, and that's going to go inside the bowl. They are nice and drunk and steamed. I think there's basil in there and garlic for sure, tomatoes, olive oil, spices. It is just incredible. And uh, we'll show you how this is all coming together shortly. I'm going to take them out of the shell, put them back in the sauce, get rid of the shells, create the bruschetta situation happening there with the drunken mussels, the wine, olive oil, minced uh, garlic, salt and pepper mixture together. That's going to be one situation. We're going to poach the red snapper in that. I can't even tell you. Oh, and I have to get the Italian bread. And that's where we are. It's just, wow, it is just. All right, so I've taken out all the mussels and put them in the sauce now, which is uh, at a very low heat. Just want to keep this kind of moving along. And what we're going to do is we're now going to take the bruschetta, which I've been heating up here, and I add that in there. What a sauce, right? Holy cow, you can smell it. It's so good. Wow. So now you've got like this mussel sauce, mussels, the bruschetta, probably bruschetta, but I like bruschetta, like red barchetta from Rush. If you know what I'm talking about, give me a yeah All right, so I stir that up. So just to let you know, I go through the fish and I make sure all the scales are off. I mean, I get these fish right from the fish 
you know, distributor. So sometimes there's bones or scales. I run through it with one of these, the back of these, you know, that you, you, you slice your carrots and stuff with. I run through that, and then I just get a common household pliers, which are now the fish pliers, and I go through, and I feel, and if I feel a bone, I put the pliers on there, and they rip out the bones. So I'm preparing the red snapper. Okay, so now the two fillets have been boned, scaled. They're pretty clean. I mean, I, I rinsed them off with water. We're ready to go. This has been simmering. As you can see, that is ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is season this with salt and pepper. Just kind of rub it in there. Get the salt and pepper in the actual fish. Just braise, like, you know, briefly with the salt and pepper. And uh, I'm going to put them in there to poach. And then I'm going to add the scallions. Um like a mountain on top of each of these. So uh, we get that flavor in there with the salt and pepper, with the bruschetta, and um, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. And uh, most of all, don't forget that this is a mussel red snapper stew, I guess. So the mussels are just gonna add this incredible flavor. Don't forget the mussels are drunk because they had a lot of wine to drink, three quarters of a bottle. And um, we're just gonna get this rock and rolling. All right, so I Slide that in there, and uh, slide that in there, I hope, I hope this is on there, maybe you're not even seeing that, but uh, let's take you down a little closer. Pretty much submerging the, the red snapper into the pot with the bruschetta, everything. I'm just kind of getting the mussel sauce, bruschetta sauce, all in there. And then what I'm doing is here's where we are right now. As you can see, this is just getting really good. Uh, it's been in there for, I'm going to say, low heat uh, for at least 10-15 minutes. And then I also just let it sit in there. And as you can see, that is white. That is ready to go. But you know what? I add a little flair. Okay? I'm just that kind of guy where I think flair is important. And it's necessary, especially for a dish like this. So what I'm going to add is frozen sweet corn. Yeah. Look at that. Just right on top of there. Uh-oh. Don't get out of control, Mr. Bubbles. I also like to add one frozen organic vegetable. Okay. So here is the final result of the mussel red snapper soup. Sensational. It's got some bread. We're going to have a uh, really nice uh, Russian River Valley Sauvignon Blanc 2006. And uh, some bread with this. Hi, thank you for making dinner. It's finished. And that's worth every bit of cooking. Thank you. Thank you.